Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Up. So today we will be dealing with one another important rule for calculating the particular solution for a second order PD with constant coefficient. Now before this if you are watching my videos you might have seen all the five rules separately on each video regarding the right hand side function. When the right hand side function is either exponential function or it might be sine or cos or it might be powers of x and y or it might be a product function when out of the product one of the function is exponential and then in the last case that we have done previously where we were converting f of dd dash into linear factors and then with the help of every linear factor we were converting it into an integral right so now let us see what is in this rule now according to this rule we are dealing with particular solution. So for any general solution, we can calculate it as 1 upon f of d d dash into f of x y. So depending on the function f of x y, we decide our rule. So in this case, our function is any function of a x plus b y. So I'm dealing it as phi of a x plus b y. So you can consider that the function can be e raised to power x plus 2 y. It can be sine of let's say 2x plus 3y or it can be log of x minus 2y. So you can see that in every function we have the term ax plus by. So any function which contains the term ax plus by can be done with the help of this rule. So what is in this rule? The first step is we will replace b with a and d dash with b unless your denominator term that is f of d d dash is not becoming zero. Then after replacing what we have to do with the right hand side function, we will substitute ax plus by equal to u and so this function becomes phi of u. So we will write here phi of u and we will integrate this function n times, right? Now what is n? n means that your denominator function that is f of d d dash it should be a homogeneous function of degree n. So this n, so we will integrate the phi of u function n times. Now what is the meaning of a homogeneous function? Suppose you are given this pd to solve d squared plus 2d dash plus d dash squared into z is equal to e raised to power x plus 2y. If you check your f of d d dash, you can see that all the terms are of degree 2. So then it will be convert, it will be expressed as a homogeneous function and the degree of this function would be 2. So we will integrate the function twice. So if you are given it as a cubic equation, if it is a homogeneous function of degree 3, then you will integrate it thrice. If it is a homogeneous function of degree 1, you will integrate it once, right? So whatever is the value of n, you will integrate it those many times, right? So now this is the procedure when the denominator is not becoming zero. If the denominator happens to be zero, that means by substituting d by a and d dash with b, if f of a comma b is becoming zero, then you have to proceed by the usual case failure method, right? So what is the usual case failure method? In the usual case failure method, whenever f of a b is equal to zero, you multiply with x, and you take the derivative of the denominator with respect to b, right? So this is the case when you do it with a case. We have to proceed. This was the usual method that we were following in every case. So the same thing here. So we will just multiply the numerator with x and we will take the derivative of the denominator with respect to b, right? So this rule is very, very simple. And whatever questions we have done in the previous videos, we can do those questions also with the help of this method, right? I'll show you certain questions that we have already solved and you can then match your answers, you'll get the same answers, right? Let's see the first question. You need to solve d squared minus d dash squared into z is equal to e raised to power x plus 2y. So we have done this question previously, right? By rule number one. So I'm not calculating the complementary function. I think you can do it by now. So we will calculate the particular solution in this question. So Zp, as we are calculating Z, so it is 1 upon d squared minus d dash squared into e raised to power x plus 2y. 
So you can see that the right hand side function is a function of phi of ax plus by. So what are your replacements? You can replace b with 1, the coefficient of x is 1, and you can replace b dash with 2, right? When you replace d with 1 and d dash with 2, 1 square will become 1, 2 square will become 4, and what is to be done on this side? Now you can see that d square minus d dash square is a homogeneous function of degree 2. So you have to integrate it twice and what will you substitute? You will substitute x plus 2 by equal to u. So this function becomes e raised to power u integrated twice. Right? When you integrate it twice, what will you get? e raised to power u integration is e raised to power u itself. So put back the value of u. So you will get e raised to power x plus 2 pi. Right? So this is your answer. I hope it is clear. Right? Now let us move on to the next question and let us see how to calculate the particular solution for this case. Yeah. So the next question is solve d plus d dash square into z is e raised to power x minus y. Now how to solve this? Let's see. First of all, again I will be not discussing about the complementary function. You can do it on your own. And we have already done this question before, right? So Zp is 1 upon d plus d dash whole square into e raised to power x minus y. So again, you can see that this is a function of ax plus b y. So your replacements are replace d with 1, the coefficient of x is 1, and replace d dash with minus 1, right? Now, when you replace, what happens? 1 minus 1 is becoming 0. So, it's a case failure. So, we will multiply with x and we will take the derivative of the denominator with respect to d. So, we will get here 2 into d plus d dash, right? Multiplied with e raised to power x minus y. Now, again, let us replace the same thing. That is d with 1 and d dash with minus 1. When you replace d with 1 and d dash with minus 1, again it is becoming 0. And when it becomes 0, what we have to do? We have to again multiply with another x. So we get x square and the derivative now becomes 2, e raised to power x minus y. So you can see that now we don't have d and d dash left in the denominator. So that leads to our final answer. So zp becomes x squared by 2, e raised to power x minus y. Right? Okay. So let's move on to the third exercise. So the third exercise says 4dx squared minus 4dx dy plus dy squared into z is 16 log x plus 2y. So here the notations you can see is dx and dy which very clearly makes it understood that dx stands for d and dy stands for d dash. So now, let's quickly calculate the complementary solution in this case. So for complementary solution, we will replace dx with m and dy with 1. So the auxiliary equation is 4dx square minus 4dx dy plus dy square is equal to 0. So let us convert dx to m and dy to 1. So we get 1 is equal to 0. So when you make factors, you will find that you are getting 2m minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So that leads to m is equal to 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Right? So both the roots are equal. So in that case, what is your complementary function? Zc becomes 5y plus x by 2 plus the second factor will get multiplied with x, f2y plus x by 2. Right? Now let us move on to the particular solution. So now Zp is 1 by 4dx square minus 4dx dy plus dy square. And the right hand side function is 16 log of x plus 2y. So you can see that 16 is a constant so we can take it out. And the function log of x plus 2y 
is basically again a function of ax plus by. So you can replace dx with 1 and you can replace dy with 2. Right? When you replace dx with 1 and dy with 2, what happens to the denominator? dx squared is 1, so 4 into 1 is 1. 4 into 1 into 2 is 8 and 2 square is 4. So 4 plus 4, 8, 8 minus 8 becomes 0. So it's a case failure. So if it is a case failure, I'm writing 16 out now. So it's a case failure. So if the case fails, then how do we proceed? We multiply with x and we take the de derivative of the denominator with respect to dx. So that becomes 8 dx minus 4 dy and acted upon as log of x plus 2y. Right. Again, you can make the same replacements, dx with 1 and dy with 2. When you replace dx with 1 and dy with 2, again, you can see it is becoming 8 minus 8 is becoming 0. So, you will multiply again. It's a case failure. So, again, the case fails. And if the case fails, then you multiply with another x. So, you will get x squared and derivative becomes 8 log of x plus 2y. So 8 and 16 cancels and your final answer becomes 2x square log of x plus 2. Right? So from here, what is the general solution? Z comes out to be f1 y plus x by 2 plus x times f2 y plus x by 2. Then we add the particular solution. So it is 2x square log of x plus 2. Right? I hope it is understood. And now we move on to the next exercise. So the next exercise is dx squared minus dy squared multiplied by z is equal to x minus y. Now how to do this question? Again, I will not talk about the complementary function. You can do it on your own. So to get the particular solution, zp is equal to 1 by dx squared minus dy squared acted upon x minus y. So now you can think that this is again the function of ax plus by. So we can replace dx with 1 and dy with minus 1. Right? When you replace dx with 1 and dy with minus 1, you can see it is becoming 1 minus 1. So the case is failing. Right? So if the case fails, we multiply with x and we take the derivative of the denominator with respect to dx. And we have here x minus y. Again, you can make the replacements dx with 1. So when you replace dx with 1, you'll get x by 2. And now what to do with this x minus y? We will convert it into an integral. So we will put x minus y is equal to u. So this function becomes u. And now how many times I have to integrate it? What is my n? You can see that we have only dx left, right? So if only dx is left, it is a homogeneous function of degree 1. So n stands for 1. So we will integrate it just once. So you will get x by 2 integration of u will become u squared by 2. So that becomes x by 4. Put back the value of u. So you will get x minus y. Right? I hope it is clear. So now let's move on to another question. dx squared plus 3 into dx dy plus 2 dy squared multiplied by z is equal to x plus y. Right? How to do this question now? Now in this case, again you can see that the right hand side function is a function of x phi of ax plus by. So to calculate zp here, we will have 1 by dx squared plus 3 into dx dy plus 2 into dy squared acted upon x plus y. So now what are your replacements in this question? You will replace dx with 1 and you will replace dy with 1. When you replace dx with 1 and dy with 1, what do you get? 1 upon 1 plus 3 into 1 is 3 plus 2. And how will x plus y convert? You will put x plus y is equal to u. 
so you will get here u u and how many times you have to integrate this you can see that it is a homogeneous function of degree 2 so you need to integrate this function twice right so from here what will i get 3 and 2 plus 1 become 6 integration of u will become u square by 2 so i can write here u square by 2 one integration and when you again integrate it so 6 into 2 is 12 and when you again integrate it you will get u cube by 3 so that becomes 1 by 36 put back the value of u so it is x plus y right so this becomes the answer to this question right so i hope all the questions are clear and this rule is very very useful because you can use it in place of rule number 1 rule number 2 right so it will be very helpful and you can get your answer in very quickly so thank you so much for going through my videos and if you like it do hit the like button and do subscribe my channel to get the new videos thank you so much and have a nice day